For safety and to keep your Isuzu truck running at its best, be sure to perform a daily inspection before you hit the road. This will help you identify any potential issues and avoid troubles while you're driving. As you know, the Department of Transportation, or DOT, requires an annual inspection to assure commercial vehicles are in good working order. They also provide a driver's vehicle inspection report to help you log your daily inspection. It covers all the major components of the vehicle and serves as a record of the truck's condition. A good place to start is by checking your engine oil. You can do this from the cabin. Just press the oil check switch and this indicator will illuminate green if the oil level is sufficient. Then, with the parking brake engaged, start the engine and allow it to idle for about 10 minutes. This allows the fluids to warm and circulate, so you can get good readings. Pay close attention to the warning indicators on the instrument panel to be certain which ones turn off and which may stay illuminated. Turn on the climate control so it can prep the cabin and defrost the windows if needed. Then turn on your headlights and hazard lights to be sure their indicators illuminate in the instrument panel. Leave them on for your exterior inspection. Check that your mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. While the engine is idling, take a walk around the truck. Inspect your wheels and tires. At each wheel, make sure the nuts are tightened. A loose lug nut can cause vibration and compromise handling. You'll want to check the tread. Front tires tend to wear more quickly, but check all tires for irregular wear. And you'll always want to check air pressures. The recommended pressures can be found in the owner's manual or in the driver's side door jam. Proper inflation is important for good handling and good fuel economy. On the FTR, check the brake system air tanks for condensation by pulling the release valve cable. The primary tank is near the rear passenger side wheels. The secondary is near the front driver's side wheels. Then walk around the truck and check your lights to be sure they're operating correctly. Check any locks or latches on your cargo and always check for any leaks under the truck. On the passenger side, check the engine coolant reservoir. Be sure it has an adequate amount of fluid. Then open the door and check your washer fluid on the passenger side of the dash. On the FTR, this reservoir is under the hood. Also, be sure to visually inspect your wipers. By this time, your engine should be warmed up. From the driver's seat, you can quickly check your brake fluid level in the reservoir on the left side of the instrument panel and test the pedal to make sure it has proper play in it. Then check your fuel level for any illuminated indicators or warning messages in the MID. Most important, be sure to check the DEF level and the particulate matter or PM level. Before you hit the road, Take the time to turn off the engine and check the engine belts and hoses. Now be careful here. Areas surrounding the belts and hoses may be hot from running the engine. First, unlock and tilt the cab forward to get access to the engine. See that the belts and hoses are not frayed or worn. The transmission doesn't require a daily check, but it must be inspected or serviced every 10,000 miles by your dealer. Now lower the cab and lock it back into place.